Liam Neeson uh, from the Taken movies and all the kidnapping type, t- kidnapping type of movie said that a family member said she was raped by an unidentified male, but all she knew was that he was black. And ever since then, well, after that point, he says that he walked the streets hoping to kill a black man after family member was raped. We back. Goodfella Sports TV. You got to watch out for dudes like this, man. Nah. And then the day when I when I'll be on my streams or I'll be doing videos, excuse me a little bit under the weather. And I tell you guys, and I'm gonna cook for a minute on this one, not not long. And I tell you guys that black people ain't racist and can't be racist. This is this is a a, a great example. That's why I did this video. It's a great example. What the hell I mean? I mean black people. We were raped. Our ancestors were raped by white males and brought to this country and dragged here. And you don't see you know black people walking the streets and looking. To, to rape, uh, you know, white women or, or get revenge. You don't get that from them. You don't get that type of mental state. You know, after a point in period, something happened and you want to get some get back. But we don't walk around here holding a grudge. We're a very apologetic people. They they brand us as being violent animals. But that was a learned ability. We didn't come over here and naturally were aggressive or, 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 or violent creatures. They did that. They put dope and drugs and guns in our cars back in the 70s and the 80s, hoping to kill us off after we built this country with our bare hands. Along with a few other minorities as well, too. You know, for Liam Neeson to go around and say, oh, because my family member got raped and she said he was a black guy. She probably wasn't even, probably wasn't even a black guy. Don't even sound believable in my opinion. Oh, all I, I, didn't, I, I couldn't identify him, but he, all I know is he is a black guy. Please. Come on, man. This sounds like a nationalist situation, man. And and you don't see people, you with the dudes that stumped out Rodney King. You didn't see black people or Rodney King family uh, uh, combing the streets or... Or surveilling the streets looking to kill those officers. Uh, I'm pretty sure the kid, the uh, guy that choked the kid out over Lucy Cigarettes in New York, he's still alive. Wasn't a lot of black people looking to go take his head off. The uh, guy, uh, the cop that shot and killed Mike Brown. Wasn't nobody combing the streets looking to kill him. You know what I'm saying? You know, Trayvon Martin, look at George Zimmerman. Perfect example. He's still walking the streets. Okay? Trayvon Martin, daddy, to go out there. Oh, since, you know... George Zimmerman, a Mexican guy, killed my son. I'm going to kill George Zimmerman and 10 Mexicans. No. Black people don't think like that. Black people are very apologetic, uh, very apologetic. You know, would I like us to be a little bit more apologetic? Yeah. A little bit more peed off and not shop at H&M after all that, not watch the NFL or not support, you know, this and that. Yeah, I wish we can do it, but it's hard to do. When we've been in America so long and they've been just trying to chop us up with welfare, taking, trying to take the man out out of the household and say we give you money and food stamps if the man is not there a lot of people don't know about all that a lot of young generation is very very naive we so removed of what happened to martin what happened with malkin we so removed from the black panthers man at the end of the day yes i do look at him as a racist male no i don't care about what happened forget all that man because we we heal and we forgive after all the things that's happened to us through the last several hundred years we were able to get over as a people and, and, and move on and heal and get, and KIM, keep it moving. You know, oh, I'm so hurt. I wanted to kill black, innocent black people and all that. Come on, man. When people show you the, the true face card of what they were, you go ahead and, and just keep it moving. You know what they are. However you want to deal with, 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 with Mr. Neeson, you deal with him. I ain't supporting him. I ain't messing with him, bro. Because if that was a white male or it could have been a white male because she couldn't even identify him. If that was a white male, you know what I'm saying? That, that I did that, you think he'd be looking the street looking to kill a white man? Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? When people tell you who they are, don't ignore the signs. May it be very, very subtle, very subliminal, but when they show you who they are, bro, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I won't be supporting him, and I'm keeping him moving, man. You know, because there's plenty of times in history, there's plenty of times that, that, that I didn't and incur, and encounter racism in the South, in the North, wherever I was at, that I could have held a grudge and, and treated the, the next white guy, treated the next Arab, Indian, Mexican one way. But no, I don't let your, I don't let a reputation, I don't let one guy give a reputation for 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 entire uh, uh, species or entire race. Forget that, man. But I'll link the article in the description. You make your, your decision. I ain't knock you what you choose to do, man. Good fella sports TV. I could have said this for the Patreon and went really raw in. If you want to follow me on social media, all the links there. You want to make donations to the channel. On that link there as well. I definitely appreciate everybody uh, supporting the movement. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. We on to the next one. Probably probably about to fire up a live stream or something. And um, just K I M. I'm just keeping it moving on this one. Blessings to you and yours.